Uh, hey, uh, we're on TikTok, everybody. Yeah, we've been we've been posting TikToks. We're and, cool and YouTube Shorts. Yes, so go follow us on TikTok and on YouTube Shorts. Yeah. Uh, we should we should clip that thing. I was gonna ask, do you want me to clip that? And... Well, no, the thing we just uh, had a good conversation about the PC handheld. Okay. Situation. So you don't want me to clip out uh, the part where you say, "Hey, we're on TikTok," and like put it on TikTok as like no, an because ad, as like an ad because they're for... there already, right? But it's they're like, already watching it on there. But like it could show up in people's feed is like, oh, you know, scrolling old look, dancing old Fortnite, ooh, whatever. Like, oh, the Wolf Den. Hey, we're on that Bob Wolf. We're on TikTok. Backlog. 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 973 games in our collection split between the two of us that we have amassed over close to 40 years. 79. 79. Don't, don't say 40 years. <laughs> Do you forget how old I am? You're old. Uh, it's, You're a, old. it's a repeat because we talked. this is one of the first games we talked about. Uh, Batman Dark Tomorrow for the GameCube. Why is it a repeat? Because we did that already. Oh, so we have to pick another we one. We had to pick okay, another one. Yeah, okay. Go I, check the archive for I that one. I thought it was like a different version. Go check the backlog. Ooh. Of the backlog. We're on a complete other end. 864. 864. That is, ooh, Resident Evil 5 for the Xbox okay. 360. So uh, we were big Resident we Evil still fans. still are big Resident Evil fans. I haven't played enough of the new stuff. I need to uh, fix that. It, that's, that's an issue I need to work out. Yeah. Um. So we played, uh, we were, hu I, we played basically every Resident Evil game up until, uh, I think I stopped at six. It was hard because we were, you know, we were N64 kids and all the play, all the Resident Evil games were on PlayStation, except for like one of them. And one of the reasons why I wanted a GameCube was because all the Resident Evil games were going to be on GameCube. Mm -hmm. So we were able to experience, you know, the Resident Evil remake, uh, Resident Evil Zero, eventually resident evil 4 um and then we got a ps2 so we could play like code veronica on there um uh, but yeah eventually like resident evil 4 that was the big one as i've said many times on this podcast it is my favorite game greatest game of all time and then there's news that the next generation of systems is going to get resident evil 5 oh yeah so i had a lot of play time with resident evil 2 that was our first resident that was our first game one yeah. on the n64 yeah. i played the shit out of that yeah. game uh and that's what got me into resident evil so yeah, much same, same, and then yeah. you like go over a friend's house and they're playing resident evil 3 and i'm like oh my god i want yeah. this fucking game uh which i still never played uh <laughs> but then yeah on the gamecube we played all of the basically all, all the remakes yeah all the remakes uh well there was the one remake there was zero which is like the sequel yes. to the remake and then resident evil 4 yes yeah we played all of that. Yeah. Uh, and we love Resident Evil 4. Then Resident Evil 5 is basically, uh, takes a lot of the mechanics from Resident Evil 4. Re Resident Evil 5 is like, if if Resident Evil 4... Sucked a little bit more. Exactly. But, but, <laughs> yeah, but no, no, it was real. still really good. It, it got a lot of shit. And I think that it only got a lot of shit because Resident Evil 4 was so good. But I think it got a lot of sh uh, justifiable shit because they do change enough of it to feel wrong. In a way, this this game leaned heavily uh, into the action side of things. People yeah. say like Resident Evil Four took the game took the series in a more action oriented direction, and it did. I but it was like that. It was still a horror game. It was still very scary and unnerving. Resident Evil Five wasn't really scary and unnerving. It definitely was more of an action focused game yeah. where they're where they're now throwing even more enemies at you. There are sections with cover shooting. Uh, there's sections where you actually have to fire back at people with guns. Um, but it's still stuck in like the survival horror mentality where you can't move and shoot at the same time. Yeah, it had You're, the same mechanics as Resident Evil 4. It was it, mechanically similar, and I liked that a lot. I liked it when it was just being Resident Evil 4, but when it was being Resident Evil 5, it like really like hampered the game. Because it was very clear it was trying to like be resident evil in a gears of war world yeah you know i 
they limited the inventory system even more so. You didn't have the big um, briefcase where you can hold everything. You had yeah, like just, a just few had slots. The screen. And even worse, uh, you had a partner this time. You had... So the game you play is Chris I Redfield. I think this was the big issue, this was, was, was well, that yes. they did focus heavily on having the partner. So you yes. have inventory between the two people. You have inventory between the two people. Uh, the AI control for your partner, Sheva Alomar, wasn't great. So the game kind of forced you to play as co-op, uh, which I never did. I so, think I did. Did you? I think I did. I never played this co-op. I beat this game by myself. Maybe which that's was, why I liked it. Which was rough. It was definitely rough. Um, so yeah, they, they they really tried to push it more into like a Gears of War. Uh, f- f- uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They, they tried to go more of the Gears of War route than yeah. a traditional Resident Evil route. And it was the start of like, you know, them trying to be much more of a big action spectacle than like a traditional horror series. People complained about the uh, artificial intelligence of of uh, Ashley in, in Resident Evil 4. Yeah. Uh, and this is basically, you're just playing the whole game with a little partner that has the ability to fend for themselves, but uh, you share items with them, so you end up sharing health and stuff. You share health, you share ammo, you yeah. share like key items. It gets and really hard towards yeah. the end of the game with yes. all of that stuff, yeah. with sharing stuff with the other person. That was my biggest issue. I didn't mind that it was a uh, heavier focus on uh, combat and stuff uh, or action, I guess. I kind of liked that about Resident Evil 4, how it kind of got really off the rails. Like, yeah. there's, there's fucking Leon's doing backflips and yeah, shit. No, Leon was I thought doing- that was pretty cool. And having that in this, I thought that was fine. I didn't really... Like, I understand that Resident Evil is like a horror franchise, but uh, I'm not like a huge horror fan. Right. So I just liked the mechanics of the game and really liked the mechanics of the game. My biggest issue was the focus on uh, co-op and the focus on multiplayer and the focus on the AI of having another person with you the whole time. And that kind of became an issue. It was fine. I had a fine time playing through this game. It wasn't as good as Resident Evil 4, though. Oh, yeah, this definitely not. This game is basically Resident Evil 4 uh, with a worse story. Uh, you have to drag this other person along with you the whole time. Mm-hmm. And uh, I guess a, a shift in uh, uh, Big tone. shift in tone, yeah. Yeah, a big shift in tone. Now you have it's more action-oriented. I feel like, like they were trying to do some interesting things to it. Like, as you can see, it takes place during the day, which none of the Resident Evils, like, really did. Um it does the story like you said isn't very good even for a resident evil game it it does what i like to dub like it has too much resident evil bullshit in it yeah or like it's too tied to the umbrella uh conspiracy wesker comes back um it gets too uh into the weeds of the whole overarching narrative which like is fine for a little bit but this and then later on with six, it just it just keeps going and going and going. You find yourself less and less interested in what they have to say. Yeah, I wasn't interested in the story of this yeah. at all. Like not even a little yeah. bit. And usually I'm really interested. Up until this point, I've been interested in all of the stories of every yeah. Resident Evil game. Uh, and then this one, I just, I didn't understand what was going on and I couldn't care less. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it made me not want to play Resident Evil 6. Resident Evil yeah. 6 uh, came out, and that was critically panned. That was critically panned because it took all the worst aspects of this. It it followed the worst aspects of this yeah. instead of following the better aspects of yeah. it. Yeah. So. I, would, I, I still think that this uh, got a little bit of an unfair rap because of how great Resident Evil 4 was. See, I don't know. I feel like this kind of got a pass because of how great Resident Evil 4 was. And then over time, like, its reputation got a lot worse because of, like, what it what it meant for the franchise going forward because, of, like, it started it down a path of, like, more action focus. You know what? It got an 83 on Metacritic, yeah. which is pretty good. I mean, Resident Evil 4 is one of the best games of all time. Yeah. So that got a really high Metacritic score. Yeah. I actually don't know what Resident Evil 4 got. I mean, depending 93? on 93? Yeah. So. This is PS5. Oh, that's the remake. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, view all platforms. Is it- That's the highest one? Yeah. I mean, even for like the GameCube version? Uh, I don't think they show mm. the GameCube version. Uh, okay. All right. So, yeah. Uh, this game, if you've never played a Resident Evil game... Don't start with this. Don't start with this. If you've never played Resident Evil 4, don't play this game. Play Resident Evil 4. 
Do we want to talk about the racism? I was going to say, was this the racist one? This was the racist okay, one. Okay, so I thought so. Context, the game takes place in Africa. You play primarily as a white male protagonist, and the very first uh, gameplay footage ever shown of this game was of your white male protagonist in Africa mowing down black African natives. Now... On the surface of it, yes, kind of icky, very icky. Um, well, th there is a s stereotype in in movies like yeah, action movies the, the, where the dark continent they call it. Yeah, yeah, and and yeah, oftentimes they make like the thugs like you yeah. know black dudes, and then there's the heroic white guy yeah. that, that does. Some and shit. also, to like, and, and this you can see this is like an American action movie, so you yeah. see you can feel that kind of like shittiness. Yeah, and like you know, it came out at a time where like people were like starting to become more aware of this stuff. You know, it it does it the first the first look like wasn't a great look. Capcom tried to like alleviate it, like yo, know, they're in huts. You got. Well, I'm, I'm getting to that. What's going I'm on? I'm getting to that. <laughs> They try to like alleviate a lot of it. You you got a black friend in it. That's that the, that's really it. So they did add a lot of uh, white a black friend. They and added, that, that's it. It's it's like hey, I know a guy. They added a lot more lighter skinned people to the the zombie hordes right. in the game. They tried to like mix it up a little bit, and then <laughs> you go to a mud hut village where black skinned people wearing. Uh, stereotypical tradition traditional African garbs are literally throwing spears at you. Yeah, this is that like and like as somebody who's like even like back then I was not a keenly aware of like you know racist overtones and things. That right there, you know, I, even I was like, oh, this might be a little far. Yeah, this uh, this looks like it was made by someone who has only heard about Africa in cartoons. Yes, that's what this looks yeah, like. Hundred uh, percent. To be like, this is a Japanese-made game. Yeah. Um, race relations in Japan are very different from how they are in uh, more Western countries yeah. like the United States, especially like We're the a little United sensitive States. about this stuff because of our history. Yes. With this I don't know if you know particular this. Culture. We got a messed up history. Yeah, it kind of fucked up a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Japan doesn't really have that sort of uh, yeah. history. But, you know, they, they could at least do a little bit of yeah. actual research before they put a whole game set in this country that yeah. they clearly don't know much about. Yeah. Um, especially when it comes to, like, the part of the game I was just talking about. Yeah. Um, it looks ridiculous. Now yeah. I just got to this part. A lot of people are saying, uh, does this, should this game be the next Resident Evil game that gets remade? Um, I am a hard no on that for a lot of reasons. Yeah. I don't think it's particularly necessary. Um, I mean, we didn't think Resident Evil 4 needed a remake. And the no. Resident Evil 4 remake is pretty good. Yeah. So uh, I think it's fine that that got a remake. Uh, this, I think of, I, th I think the story just sucks. I think I think there's just nothing really I to gain out of a remake I think the story sucks. I think the fundamental idea of it, because it's fundamentally trying to be a co-op shooter, and I don't think that... There's room to improve there's that aspect. De definitely, yeah. Uh, also, too, you'd have to completely redo the story yeah. and the setting and stuff, and I just don't feel like it's worth it. I would rather have this game exist as is and be available to people who want to experience it rather than having to waste uh, the time and the resources to make a whole new version of Resident Evil 5. I would rather than just make Resident Evil 9, if anything. So is this available for people to get? Yes, it is. Uh, it's available on all major platforms, available on Steam. Uh, it's available on Switch and it plays very well on Switch. I didn't uh, know it was on Switch. Yeah, That's I have it cool. for Switch. It's very, it runs very well. Uh, Griffinix says the next one should be Code Veronica. I agree because I, I very much like the. I mean, that. yeah, if you're gonna remake any of the Resident Evils, it, it would be Code Veronica. Uh, but I mean, Dino Crisis is right there. <laughs> yeah. So, um, so yeah, that's um, that's Resident Evil Five. Uh, Not one of the good ones. Somebody in the chat said, "Oh, Oracle Moss says, uh, so was Resident Evil Four racist for the Spanish?" A little bit. It doesn't have the same sort of imagery that I mean. Look at this. Yeah, I mean that's that's the thing you gotta talk about. Up. Like it's it's the imagery, it's the tone, yeah. it's the. But I I did feel a little bit when I was playing Resident Evil Four. I was like, oh, 
all the bad guys are yeah. Spanish. <laughs> It did feel a little weird. Yeah, but by the same token, like this is worse. Yeah, for this sure. like you have to understand like historical context and yeah. like you know towards our country. And he literally has a spear. Yeah, that's yeah. All right. So, uh, so I don't. I, I'm. I wouldn't recommend this. It's it, it's hard to recommend. It's yeah. like literally. I would say if you've played every Resident Evil game but this. Sure, give Might it a try. Well, it's really yeah. not as bad as it was made out to be. Yeah. Uh, but it's completely forgettable. Yeah. So, I, I, maybe it's a cool co-op game. If you want to play it with somebody maybe, else. But I, but I, I saw... Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, what's the guy be part of Achievement Hunter. Ray Navarro and okay. I think Andy Cortez played this game. And it's very funny. Right. <laughs> um, I'd imagine so. this game being funny to play like two people, but if it's supposed to be a survival horror game, that kind of defeats the purpose. Yes. Um, this is the one with boulder punching, I should also note. This is where we're... Oh, where he punches a boulder. Punches that's a boulder. cool, yeah. though. That, that's I like, like that shit. That's, like, cool, but that's not, like, horror movie cool, you know? Yeah. It's action movie cool. But that's, like, what I'm talking about. Like, it, it, this is the beginning of Resident Evil losing its way before Resident Evil 7 fixed everything. Yes. All right. Thanks for watching the backlog, everybody. Uh, we'll see you at a podcast. Uh, if you're watching the podcast, you stay. Everyone else, goodbye. Bye.